to consecutive kilometer zones. Consecutive means what? Which differs by what? One is the building. T F is the tower, and T to F we need to find that we assume H. H is equal to root three x. In the place of x, put the value of x. What is value of x? What is meant by x? In the diagram, x is the distance of the first point. In every case, you have to understand the problem and convert it into diagram. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today we'll go ahead with the problems of heights and distances. So now, a person at the top of a hill observes that angle of depression of two consecutive kilometer stones on a road to to the foot of the hill and in the same vertical plane containing the position of observer are thirty degrees and sixty degrees. Find the height of the hill. So for that, let us draw a diagram. So a person, this is the hill. H L is the hill, and a person is standing on the top of the hill, and he observes two milestones. So this is stone, kilometer stones S one, and the other one is say S two. And he'll make angle of depression to see both of them. So angle of depression means here if I draw, so angle of depression. to see both of them one 30 degrees one 60 degrees so this is 60 degrees means here this is 60 and this is what 30 degrees so this will be 30 degrees so now you got h be the height of the hill and they also told that they okay they are on the same vertical plane they want you to find the height of the hill so now if i take the triangle so this is the triangle formed And this is the height of the hill. H is capital H L. Height of the hill is L, and we have two milestones at two different points. This is thirty degrees when you go away, and this is sixty degrees. Thirty and sixty. So we called it as S one and S two. So now we have two triangles. So apply tan theta to get the unknown. So let me consider this as x and this is y. And they have not given any other hint. A person on the top of the hill observes the angle of depression of two consecutive, leading to the hill, and that's it. So now, from this data, I will take one triangle from triangle HLS1. So from triangle HLS1, tan 60 degrees is equal to H by x. Tan 60 is what root 3. Root 3 is what H by x. So H is what root 3 x. So it is equation one, and they have also not see here. They have not even given the distance between the things. So in terms of x and y, we can say so tan from other triangle. Other triangle is what HLS two. If I take HLS two, I have tan thirty. Tan thirty degrees is what opposite side. That is H by the base. That is x plus y. So tan thirty is one by root three. One by root three is H divided by x plus y. So now rearrange. And get the value of x. H can be written as x plus y by root three, or x plus y is equal to h root three. So now x, if you want, x is root three h minus y. So you can substitute x here. Call it as equation two. If you substitute two in one, substitute equation two in one, so that you will get. H is equal to root three times x. What is x? Root three h minus y. Simplify this. H becomes root three into root three is three h minus root three y. Rearrange. Root three y is equal to three h minus h. That is two h is equal to root three times y. Or h is root three by two times y. Where y is what distance between the milestones. So they have not given distance between the milestones. They told our kilometer stones. They told a person stands say two consecutive kilometer stones. Consecutive means what? Which differs by what? One. Which differs by what? One. One kilometer. So if I assume it's in kilometer, so h is equal to root three by two into one. So h is equal to what? Root three kilometers. Root three by two kilometers. See, dear students, they told consecutive. Consecutive means what? Distance between the milestones. This is one kilometer. 
if this is 100th kilometer this is 99th kilometer like that so distance between two consecutive here y is distance between two consecutive stones so s1 to s2 will be exactly 1 kilometer why because they are kilometer stones so therefore we will get height also in terms of kilometer finally you will get height is equal to what root 3 by 2 times y y means what 1 kilometer so root 3 by 2 into 1 kilometer means root 3 by 2 kilometer is the answer this is the height of the hill then further the angle of elevation of top of the tower and base of the and base and the top of a building the angle of elevation of top of a tower from the base and the top of a building are 60 degrees and 45 degrees the building is 32 meters high find the height of the tower so let us take a tower so tf is the tower and we'll take a building bl is the building and they also mentioned the height of the building. What is the height of the building? 32 meters. So in the diagram, BL is the building, 32 meters. And they told the angle of elevation of top of the tower, top of the tower from the base is 60 degrees. From the base, the top is 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. And from the top of the building, from here, if you see, the angle of elevation also given. What is the angle of elevation? 45 degrees. 45 degrees. And further, they want you to find what? They want you to find height of the tower. So, H B the height of the tower. So, here to here, T to F is H. And when you observe, when you observe, here to here, this is 32. And this is X. Or we say this is H minus 32. Here to here, I call this as point P. Let us call it as point P. This is H minus 32. So now we got triangles. From the triangles, we can find the height. So now this was the building and this was the tower and this was the top of the building. This was the foot or base of the building BL is the building. TF was the tower and T to F we need to find that we assumed H and this B to L is 32 meters they gave. And if I draw perpendicular and B to F to P is also 32 meters and here to here it will be 30 H minus 32 out of H remove 32 and here this is one angle of elevation and this is other angle of elevation. So they mentioned angle of elevations. So what are the angle of elevations? These are the angle of elevations. So from the top it is 45 degrees from the bottom it is what is the value? 60 degrees. So now you can see two triangles, rearrange them and you will get the answer from above triangle, from triangle BPT, from triangle BPT. So tan 45 degrees, tan 45 is equal to what? Opposite. What is opposite? H minus 32 by adjacent. Adjacent is what? TF. I call it as X. So in the diagram, let us assume B to P is same as uh, L to F that is same as X. So I call it as X. So by X. You know tan 45 is what 1 1 is equal to h minus 32 by x rearrange x will become h minus 32 call it as equation 1 then we have another triangle from triangle tlf from triangle tlf so apply tan 60 tan 60 is opposite side opposite is what tf divided by adjacent that is lf tf is the height of the tower lf is x tan 60 is root 3, rearrange, if you rearrange h is equal to root 3 x you will get, call it as 2. Now substitute 1 into, so dear students here you can get the value of x and we got value of x, so what is value of x? h minus 32, so substitute equation 1 in equation 2. What is equation 2? h is equal to root 3 x, in the place of x put the value of x, what is value of x? That is h minus 32, root 3 into h minus 32. Simplify this, h is equal to root 3h minus 32, bring minus 32 to this side, so it will become plus 32 and it will become root 3h minus h. So 32 is equal to, if you take h common, it will become root 3 minus 1. So h is equal to what? 32 divided by root 3 minus 1. So we got the h value. What is the height? 32 divided by root 3 minus 1. Always, final answer, denominator should not contain 
root so rationalize divide and multiply by root 3 plus 1 by root 3 plus 1 so h becomes numerator 32 root 3 plus 1 in brackets denominator a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square that will become 3 minus 1 so you know 3 minus 1 is what 2 32 into root 3 plus 1 by 2 so 2 ones are 2 18 is a so you got the height what is the height 18 into root 3 plus 1 meters so this is the height of the tower they want you to find the height we got the height so, sorry 2 into 16 here cancel this properly 16 twos are 32 right so therefore that is what 3 ones are 3 16 is a 16 into root 3 plus 1 meter now next the angle of elevation of tower from a point in the ground is 30 degrees at a point in the horizontal line passing through the foot of the tower and 100 meters nearer it, the angle of elevation is 60 degrees. Find the height of the tower and the distance of the first point from the tower. See, there is a tower and on the line we have two points. So they told the angle of elevation of a tower from a point on the ground is 30 degrees. Say this is the point from here it is 30 degrees this is given this is the tower tf is the tower then they told at a point on the horizontal line passing through the foot of the tower and 100 meters nearer it the angle of elevation is 60 degrees find the height of the tower and distance of the first point so now they also gave what is that a point on the horizontal line passing through the foot of the tower and 100 meters nearer it. So it is 100. You see another point. I will take Q. The Q is what? 100 meters nearer to the foot. The angle of elevation is. The angle of elevation is 60 degrees. Now they are asking you to find. They are asking you to find. The distance of the. Distance. Of the first point from the tower. So means if I assume the distance of the first point as X. So, we will assume this is x, this is 100 and here to here it will be what? x minus 100. So, now from the triangle, what is the triangle TFP? So, if you apply tan 60, tan 60 degrees is equal to opposite side TF divided by adjacent, adjacent is 100. Tan 60 is root 3, root 3 is equal to Tf. T to F is what? Mm, T to F is height of the tower. They wanted to find the height of the tower. Let H be the height of the tower. So, H by 100. So, we got H is equal to what? 100 root 3 meters. This is the height of the tower. Further, you take another triangle. Another triangle is what? Tfp. From See, here we took Tfq, sorry. This is TFQ. Now TFP if you take from triangle TFQ, if you take TFQ, in the triangle TFQ tan 30. So tan 30 degrees is equal to opposite side. What is opposite to 30? Opposite to 30 is TF divided by adjacent. What is the adjacent? FP. And you know tan 30 is 1 by root 3. TF is height of the tower. FP f to p is x this is what we need to find actually f p f to p is x we need to find x so rearrange x is equal to root 3 h it will be x is equal to root 3 into h we got what is h 100 root 3 root 3 into root 3 becomes 3 3 into 100 is what 300 so 300 meters is x what is meant by x in the diagram x is the distance of the first point from the tower. So therefore, distance of the distance of P from tower is 300 meters. That's it. So I hope all of you got this. Then a person is at the top of the tower 75 feet high. From there he observes vertical pole and finds the angle of depression of the top and bottom of the pole 30 degrees and 60 degrees find the height of the pole see now they told a person is on the hill or a person is on the top of the tower sorry 
is on the top of the tower. So TF is the tower. And they also mentioned 75 feet. So tower height is 75 feet, they told. From there, from there, he'll observe. And uh, he'll observe the pole. He'll observe top and bottom of the pole. So this is pole PL. So he'll observe top and bottom of the pole. So when he observes top of the pole with an angle of uh, depression, see 30 degrees and bottom of the pole with an angle of depression, 60 degrees. Now we got two triangles and now our task is to find, they wanted to find the height of the pole H, be the height of the pole. See here, this is also H and this will be 75 minus H, the remaining part. So now take two triangles. So from first triangle, what is the triangle? TFL, triangle TFL if you take, tan 60, what is tan 60 degrees, tan 60 is opposite, that is TF divided by adjacent, adjacent we don't know, we call it as X, that is X, root 3 is equal to TF, what is TF in the diagram, T to F is total height, total height of the tower is 75 feet, 75 by X, so X is equal to what, 75 by root 3, you got X value, and now you take other triangle, from triangle in the diagram we have another triangle what is another triangle t and we call it as m tmp tmp so apply tan what is the angle tan 30 tan 30 degrees is equal to opposite side what is the opposite for 30 tm divided by adjacent what is adjacent x so you can see adjacent adjacent mp is same as fl so mp is See in the diagram FL and MP both are equal to what unknown called X. So that's why we can write X here. Tan 30, you know, 1 by root 3, 1 by root T to M. What is T to M? TM is 75 minus H. 75 minus, sorry, 75 minus H divided by what? X. Rearrange. X value, you know, substitute X value or rearrange this. We need H. So rearrange. X by root 3 is equal to 75 minus H. It will become. Now we interested in H, H is equals to and uh, 75 minus X by root 3 and substitute the value of X. What is the value of X? 75 by root 3, 75 by root 3, already one root 3 we have. So it becomes 75 minus 75 by root 3 into root 3 is 3. So 3 ones are 3, 25 is a, so 75 minus 25, 75 minus 25 gives you 50. So 50 meters is the height of the they wanted to find the height of the pole, PL is the pole, so H we got 50, therefore conclusion is what? Height of the pole is 50 meters. Hope all of you got this. In every case, you have to understand the problem and convert it into diagram. If you can do that, then you can take two triangles, create two equations, solve one and two, you will get the answer. So I hope all of you understood this. Thanks for attending. I'll see you in my next session. Thank you.